Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to try and curl my deadly, deadly straight hair, which I've been told many times by various people is just not going to happen. I've never worried about perming my hair because quite frankly it doesn't even hold a crimp and yeah, it's just not worth it. So moistened face washer, yep it's moist, and we want a mousse of some sort, this is a L'Oreal something or other, strong hold, whatever, and that's a perming rod. And that's basically what we're going to be using today. Oh, and a towel comb. We need one of them. And also there's bobby pins in here somewhere. So let's start by shaking it up and putting out some of that mousse. Because quite frankly, I don't have three hands. I don't know about you, but only one set there. One and a half. So we're moosing up the hair. I just got out of the shower and I washed it basically so it's wet. And we roll her up. Now... Please note, this is not the best rolling job ever done. Uh, I'm not a professional. I've actually only been watching a lot of YouTube videos. That's basically it. That's how I've learned how to do this. And I will endeavor to try and put some links in the down bar or get Marianne to put some links in the down bar for this, you know, for someone else doing this tutorial a lot better than me. Uh, the people that I learned off, basically mousse as you do. Uh, the reason I use a mousse not a hair spray is because this dries kind of crunchy which I know sounds really gross but when your hair don't hold a curl this is the way to do it because I've actually managed to get my hair to hold a curl and if you want it to last two days don't wash your hair when you're done uh, just use a spray bottle with water in it and moisten your hair off and then put it back in the rollers and sleep on it. Uh, this is basically called a cold set, I think. And I like using a cold set more than a hot set. So basically using hot rollers or a curling rod, something like that. Because I don't really like the thought of damaging my hair all that much. And I don't know, but I'm hoping that doing it this way causes less damage to the hair. Uh, I don't color my hair. I don't really do treatments at all just basically wash and wear so this is about as leery as I've been lately and I've been testing it out because I'm heading to Sydney to go and meet Lainey Taylor who is an author so I don't know whether you know who she is but go and look up the book Daughter of Smoke and Bone and have a read it's a really really good book actually and Lainey I'm hoping is going to be an amazing woman well she wrote an amazing book so surely the person that's going to be amazing. So I'm trying my best to try a hairstyle that I wouldn't normally and I'm giving it grotesque while I'm at home so I can learn how to do it because I may be doing this in a Sydney hotel room, maybe. I don't know. I might be doing it in the airport. I might be walking around Sydney with these curlers in my hair. Won't that be lovely people? Yep. Alrighty, so we're washing our hands because I don't like the itchy feeling of moosing my hands too much. But then we're going to duck right in and continue putting mousse everywhere. Uh, I found that having straight hair on the sides is really quite off-putting for the style that I've been trying to do. And that's kind of a 50 style to go with the dress that I've bought to wear it to the event. So I've been trying to learn how to do pin curls. So we'll see how these turn out once I get on to tutorial 2 which is all about how to undo them and brush them out. So there's our bobby pins or hair slides depending on what you want to call them. Uh, that one roll just another six in the spot. Get over there. <laughs> yep, so we are going through and we're trying to put a few pin curls in. So glad I sped this video up because otherwise it would be even more boring. Aren't you glad I'm doing this? <laughs> Let's see if I can yap on a few more minutes because I think we've got two minutes or so left. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't generally worry about which direction I'm putting these curls in. Apparently it matters sometimes depending on what hairstyle you want. Uh, some of the old 50s hairstyling books actually told you uh, formula or you know like a pattern 
that you could put the curls in to actually make it sit in a particular manner so that when you brushed it out it would just fall into place I suppose. Uh, I'm not up to that stage yet, I'm just trying to get the suckers to curl in the first place because trying to get my hair to curl is not really the easiest thing even though this looks rather easy. Uh, once I'm done with this pen curl I'm going to put my hair up in a scarf so that it's pretty much an easy thing to deal with throughout the day while I'm waiting for my hair to dry. Most of the time if I'm doing this I would most likely be doing it at night before I go to bed and sleeping on it so that it is completely and utterly dry by the time I wake up in the morning and then I can just get on with my day. Um, after brushing it out of course because the whole brushing thing is apparently a thing and it's important. So once I've refilled that i put this little piece of annoying of that. Yep, there's the scarf. Yay, let's put the scarf on. And then I'm gonna come back once this hair's dry and I'm gonna show you what it looks like after it's finished. But that'll be part two, so this is only part one. And I hope this has been educational for some of you, but go and watch those other video clips on YouTube because they're probably gonna be more interesting than mine. But anyway, there you go.